Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Music was more than just a coping mechanism after James Paxton lost his dad, beloved actor Bill Paxton, in 2017. It was a survival tactic. Seven years later, Paxton has found the courage to share his music with the world as Love, Pax, and his first single, Out Friday, July 12, celebrates the late actor's life. When my dad passed, music really became my main outlet and I started to write these songs by myself on the guitar. It took a long time to feel confident to even record them, James, 30, tells our channel exclusively. Last year, James was filming his cameo in the upcoming Twister sequel, Bill starred in the original in 1996, and felt inspired during his downtime. There, he worked with Nicholas Thompson and recorded Count on Me after working on it on and off for years. It's the most personal thing I've ever put out, he says, adding that it felt like the right time to record the song because he was paying homage to his dad through the cameo and there was a lot of emotions surrounding it. With Count on Me, James reflected on his journey with grief, especially in lines like, Shower me with dirty water and beg me to be clean. That line to me is about going through hell and expecting to be unchanged and unfazed. It was a really hard process for me to get to where I am today and be confident to go out there, perform again and really take advantage of everything life has to offer, he says. I was very closed off for a long time dealing with the grief of that. In addition to the single, James released an accompanying music video directed by Greg Gorman. The music video is a nostalgic compilation of never-before-seen footage of his father. I wanted to share it because I need to celebrate my dad. I had such a wonderful relationship with him growing up, says James, adding that it's a form of therapy to put this project out into the world. I'm hoping it touches people because they might be able to relate and go, I want to dig up some old family footage and see if my parents have any cool old photos. I had never seen this footage until a few years ago. I mean. It was really kind of shocking to me to find out that this was all here, he says. Though James didn't exactly dream of becoming a musician growing up, he wanted to be a marine biologist. He started making music at age 13 with a friend and always saw it as a creative outlet. I played a song that I had made with one of my bands for dad right before he passed and he was just like, man, I could hear this on the radio. You got to keep going with this. Keep going, he says of his father who gave him a public enemy CD when he was a kid. I think about that and I can hear my dad's voice in my head a lot of times. That's a comfort. Over time, he's learned that through art, whether it be music or an acting role, there's human connection. It's a survival tactic in a way. I think that the takeaway is don't be afraid to be vulnerable in your art. I mean, be as vulnerable as you can be because that's when you strike truth and that's when people who maybe have gone through similar circumstances can relate and it can help them the most. You have to lay it all out there, he says. Up next, James is looking forward to the premiere of his upcoming film Last Train to Fortune with Malcolm McDowell in the fall. McDowell recently told our channel that Bill was originally slated to play the role and he'd been waiting decades to make it. It's a lead role opposite these incredible veteran actors like Mary Steenburgen and Bernadette Peters, as well as Malcolm. I learned so much and it's a very wholesome film all about the importance of reading and education, and it's a real love letter to teachers. He adds, it's my favorite thing I've ever gotten to make in terms of film projects and I just can't wait for people to see it. Count on me is out now.